What is up? It is in here. Today we're reviewing the ambience controller. Let's fucking get it right now. So this is the first sound, dry. Now we have ambience on it. Let's see how beautiful we can make it right now. Which is a basic synth waveform. I'm not gonna offset it much. I just wanna make it sounding beautiful. Got a tiny bit of lag, but it's worth it for the sound. Got a synthetic reverb panning. <laughs> I'm just so done with the synth community and just plugins overall. Like I'm just so unimpressed with everything, honestly. My cooking up skills are pretty unreal. Like this just sounds really good right now. Listen to this bass, come on. Put some ambience on it, how can that go wrong, right? My computer's not doing good either. We can saturate it though, flip it. Visualize. I wanna know your honest opinion though, cause I'm actually friends with the person who made this plugin, it's like a flowstone thing. And like, it's just tough being friends with developers and stuff because I don't want to be biased with anything, but I still want to use the plugins. Holy! This thing is unlimited feedback. The reverb and feedback sounds good, but I don't know if it's my computer or the actual plugin that's just lagging to death. But. I'm actually inside this plugin too, no lie. I have my own decimation pack in here. Put some unreal okay. reverb pulses. That way up. It sounds crazy though. This is why I can't even produce music though, because it's lagging so bad, and I want to run like a hundred effects on top of each other to get the sound that I want. It's just not possible right now. Yeah, I want your honest opinion because I really did feel like a shill and I don't like feeling like that. I just want to be real always from now on. Like, no lies will ever be said between us. I just don't want to be one of the fake people in the community. That is my number one fear in life right now. Damn! This plugin is pretty fire though, we have like three main sections with some good sound effects for like grain, reverb, convolving, so it's like an all-in-one plugin that just honestly has some pretty good sound, so I can't hate on it, it's just fucking kind of laggy because Flowstone is garbage sometimes. It sounds fucking gorgeous though, like, I don't know if it's the synths or me, it's probably just me, honestly. <laughs> I'm depressed as shit though, that's why I really like these vocals, cause someone can just scream. I can't even scream right now. I still live at fucking home. I'm just suffering right now, but I really do believe in the future. I got some big things coming. I want some drama in the community. Like, I'm genuinely bored as shit. Like, there's nothing to even talk about besides these awful top tier companies just scamming us every day. Like, I just hate everything, honestly. Like, that's how I feel right now, truthfully. I just want to make good music. That's all I give a shit about. But I can't even do that! Fuck! All I feel right now is just genuine rage. And it just sucks because being a fucking developer is not fun. Like, honestly. You have to sit at your computer for fucking 20 hours a day. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to make plugins, but genuinely, like, it's just not even that fun for me right now. Like, I want to fucking be active and make music in a fun way. Like, I'm not having fun in FL Studio. I'm not having fun with anything, honestly. But I want to make the art. That's why I'm really pissed off right now. Especially with just, like, technology in FL Studio, like, it just feels like they don't even care. Like, they barely add new updates. Like, I can just rant forever about why everything sucks, but... This is fucking gorgeous, though. 
I'm really trying to dissemble like a top tier team of fucking artists and developers and just people who actually want to succeed in life right now. Like I'm friends with the person who made this plugin and he's helped me a lot with stuff, but like I still don't really have anyone. So if you want to collab and like take over this industry, because there's no one that I know online who actually gives a single crap. Like people review plugins and they're honest, but they don't actually make their own or like want to actually contribute to like making things that are tools for us like i'm about to beef with weaver beats after this honestly that's how pissed off i am right now okay so now i'm here with the developer cutps to the crew from team entropy so i really wanted to know like what's the backstory behind this plugin like why'd you even make it uh, backstory like it's simple uh, you know today it's really hard to get some good plugins for cheap and I'm a Russian student, like I don't have money and uh, there are some complications uh, with sending money to Russia right now. I thought to use it by myself and just never send it to anyone, but here I have an opportunity uh, hmm. to give the creativity to other people. Now I kind of wanted some behind the scenes of the plugin, like you want to show us how you developed it maybe? <laughs> yeah, all right. This is Sampens Control inside Flowstone. Okay. Key, key elements here was the convolver. The, this is the hardest part because the convolution is actually the hardest reverb type you actually can create. Convolution is really complicated, complex multiply. It requires a beefy computer and good code. So the thing about convolver that you have these impulses from real places. They was recorded in different parts of Moscow. Like, this is my university, uh, the halls from my university. Uh, this is Russian district called Yasneva in Moscow. So yeah, this is one of a kind samples. Uh, Russian the impulses. Philosophy. Yes, <laughs> Russian impulses, Russian infrastructure. The, you know, the philosophy of that uh, convolver, like, e why do I even bother creating a convolver? It's actually that I want to give you the opportunity to hear like the soundscapes in Russia is actually like sounds because like in near future you actually can't visit Russia oh, uh, so yeah in near future it is just impossible for now yeah. but it is it is really bad to not show you the soundscapes the crazy soundscapes in Russia mm, so yeah I made place. <laughs> yeah like Yasinyo district is a really good place. The synthetic reverb is a really old code I found and I actually refactored it, rewrite and huge, huge optimizations went into what it. What does SRC stand for? Uh, it's a source of your, oh. you know, like the, the, this, this thing is actually simulating a room. S SRC is a source, it's like a speaker of some sort and ears is actually, that's you the in panning. this room better this is a projection of the room from the top oh. so it's actually an rtx with sound like for sound it's really beautiful interesting uh, and what about the grain delay <laughs> grain delay like why even actually created grain delay uh, again this is old code that i found and refactored it like optimized it all that stuff and grain delay for me, it's the best kind of delay because the feedbacks and, you know, this delay itself is really interesting because the grains, like the granule synthesis is the best one, for my opinion. But I will add different things here. Maybe just a simple algorithmic delay, different reverbs like feedback delay networks, reverbs like the classical ones. So yeah, for now, so you have three it's effects right now, but you do want to add more potentially? Yeah, yeah, bec because uh, like this plugin is up on my booster right now and I want like to update it constantly and all updates will be free, like trust me. And if you buy it right now, you will get a free lifetime license, like free updates, like I meant free updates. Now it is cheaper because it's like pre-release and like it's actually supporting stuff. So yeah, if you buy it, you will actually help me a lot. Can we get some demo by the developer themselves maybe? <laughs> okay, so the first section I want to show you like the scenes stuff. So if I disable all ambience controls here, we will hear a dry sound. You hear it? Mm -hmm. Dry, yeah, yeah, dry. still good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let's add ambience control here to the three tracks I have. You'll hear that. Deep soundscapes, like the grand delay really kicks in. You hear that ambience in the background now though? Like just so much more yes. life when you have a nice like, reverb on it and stuff. Really good echoes. Okay, this is a metal track. Actually, I'm, I'm a metal musician, so let's hear it. Hey! Heavy. Really heavy. Okay. The solo will kick in. <laughs> Hey. The fire. fire. <laughs> Listen oh, to yeah. the echoes. That tail. This is a beauty of the convolvers. <laughs> this sample here, it's actually me inside a really big hole in Chopper Row. Like, this is my favorite one because of the. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, in every like pack, that's me. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah my friends all that stuff so yeah this sample is actually one of my favorites because the tail it, it is crazy you mm -hmm. heard it the most things happened in the music box so the grand delay here have offsets with like semitones like the chromatic offsets oh, okay. and I, lo I loaded decimation like <laughs> dragon inferno from zane so yeah in, it, it produced really good sounds the cabinet raise actually a converter too but slightly different it just okay. produces the early reflections so I created some cabinets here for the guitar this was really fun and the plugins here this is my plugin like the scream distortion mm -hmm. all right so final thoughts on everything in the industry because I've just been really pissed off with everything <laughs> okay let me make it clear Fuck the industry right now. The fuckers making like shit plugins for huge money. Like I will not say the names of the plugins or the companies themselves, but they they are just selling crap. I don't know. Like the plugins that they sell, they are working, but no creativity at all involved. Like zero creativity. And we actually want to take off this fucking industry because. We are mu musicians that are tired of this shit. Yep. Like my philosophy of the plugins that I want to, you know, uh, get them for anyone. So my philosophy is to create like most, you know, usable and actually creative stuff for really cheap prices. So yeah, fuck industry, fuck <laughs> everything. Like you're gonna take over it. Let's go. So you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, Instagram.com cvtps to the queue. We'll have the link in the description. You can actually get my boosty like uh, we will leave a link uh, too also i have like some R russian uh, you know um, social networks so if you know something about them we will leave links here so yeah follow me follow zany and we will fucking take over this industry oh. hopefully you enjoyed this video though i'm going after the entire industry i don't care what anyone says or thinks like i'm seriously going to take over the entire fucking earth and I'm really angry right now and I'm just fed up with every single part of this industry honestly I really do feel alone out here I will make a good fucking song one day I will fucking get a billion views out of the shit! Chase your freaking dreams no matter what though. I'll see you in the next one. I'm done being a fucking chill. Goodbye.